DeFi. Decentralized finance, it's been buzzing for a while now, but honestly, it still feels like we're just scratching the surface of what's possible. And you sent us some seriously interesting research on this platform, Unichain, that seems to be tackling some pretty big DeFi challenges head on. Absolutely. And it goes way beyond just another cryptocurrency. Right. Because when I think DeFi right now, honestly, sometimes it feels like I'm trying to parallel park a semi truck during rush hour. It can be done, but man, it's stressful. I think that's the perfect analogy. We're talking high fees, slow transaction speeds. And honestly, it feels like a bunch of disconnected platforms rather than a unified system. Like, come on, DeFi, can't we all just get along? OK, so is Unichain like the universal adapter we've all been waiting for? You can say that. Sure. It's designed to be this super efficient layer built on top of Ethereum. They're calling it an optimistic rollup. Think of it like a mini blockchain that inherits Ethereum security, but it runs way faster and cheaper. So like a, a high speed rail line built on top of our existing infrastructure. Exactly. And they do this through two really cool innovations. The first is called verifiable block building. That's all about making transactions lightning fast. Then there's the Unichain validation network, which makes sure everything stays secure. OK, now you've got me really intrigued. Let's start with this verifiable block building. It sounds a little like a sci-fi construction project. Well, it kind of is. Imagine instead of processing transactions one by one, like a single lane road, we bungle them together into these blocks, kind of like those massive cargo ships loaded up with containers. OK, so more transactions shipped out in one go. That makes sense. But where does the verifiable part come into play? Ah, that's where Unichain gets really smart. They use something called a T a trusted execution environment to guarantee that those blocks are built fairly and securely. Right. Think of it like having an incorruptible foreman overseeing a construction site. Yeah. No cutting corners, no shady business allowed. I like the sound of that. But what does all of this mean for the everyday user like me just trying to make a simple transaction? Here's where the flash blocks come in. Imagine you order something online and you get a notification that your package is shipped even before it's left the warehouse. OK, I'm with you. Well, that's essentially what a flash lock does. It's a near instant confirmation that your transaction is good to go, making those block times insanely fast. We're talking like 200 to 250 milliseconds. Hold on. So are we talking near instant transactions here? No more waiting hours or even days for things to go through? You got it. And to make it even sweeter, they've got this thing called trustless revert protection. You ever tried to send a transaction yep. and it failed, but you still got hit with that gas fee? Uh, tell me about it. It's uh, like paying for a taxi that never shows up. Well, Unichain says no more. Their trustless river protection prevents exactly that. If a transaction is likely to fail, the T catches it during the block building process and you don't pay a dime. It's like having a guardian angel looking out for your crypto wallet. OK, now that's something I can definitely get behind. But and maybe I'm just a little too security conscious here, but this all sounds almost too good to be true. What about the security of the system itself? I mean, this yeah. is finance we're talking about, right? Trust is everything. You are 100% right. And that is where the Unichain Validation Network, we'll call it the UVN, steps in. See, in a lot of blockchain systems, there's this single entity called a sequencer that's responsible for proposing these blocks of transactions. Uh-oh, I feel a butt coming on. You know it. Now, this setup can be really efficient, but it does make some people nervous about potential bottlenecks or even, worst case scenario, a single point of failure. OK, so what's the solution here? How do we take the power away from a single sequencer and make sure the whole system is secure? That's where the UVN comes in, this decentralized network of validators. Think of it like a massive vigilant crowd constantly monitoring the sequencer's every move. OK, so if the sequencer tries to pull a fast one, everyone sees it. Exactly. And to keep those validators honest, they have to stake you and I tokens to participate. Ah, so they've got skin in the game. It's like a built in incentive for honesty, because if they try anything shady, they risk losing their stake. Exactly. And these validators are constantly on the lookout for two major red flags. The first is called block equivocation risk. That's where a sequencer tries to propose two conflicting blocks at the same time. Oh, so it's like having two conductors trying to direct the same orchestra at the same time. A recipe for disaster, right? Mm. Well, the UVN acts like a conductor of conductors, making sure everyone's on the same page and agreeing on the same chain of blocks. So what's the other risk the UVN is designed to catch? The other one is invalid block risk, where a sequencer, maybe by mistake or maybe not, tries to sneak in a block containing bad transactions. It's like having a super secure customs checkpoint making sure no contraband goods make it through. 
And the UVN validators are like those hawk-eyed customs agents checking every single transaction before waving it through. Exactly. This process is all about maintaining the integrity and security of the entire system, making sure that only valid transactions get through. This is fascinating stuff. We've covered a lot of ground here, but we've only just scratched the surface of Unichain, haven't we? We've got a lot more to unpack. This isn't just about faster transactions or cheaper fees. This is about a much bigger vision for the future of DeFi. Oh, a bigger vision? Now you've got me hooked. A bigger vision, huh? Sounds like we're about to enter the DeFi multiverse or something. Not quite the multiverse, but we're getting close. Yeah. We're talking about something called the super chain, and Unichain is a core part of it. Imagine this network of these optimistic rollups, each with its own strengths, but they're all seamlessly connected. Interoperable. Okay, so instead of separate blockchains, it's like this interconnected network of high-speed trains. You can travel across the entire DeFi landscape without ever hitting a border crossing. Now you're getting it. And because Unichain is purpose-built for speed and efficiency and security, it's really poised to be a major hub in this super chain. A central station, you could say. This super chain thing sounds incredibly ambitious. But what does it actually mean for the average person? Are we talking tangible benefits here? Or is this more like a you know long-term pie-in-the-sky vision? It's a bit of both, to be honest. The ultimate goal is to make participating in DeFi as simple and accessible as, say, using online banking is today. No more wrestling with these clunky interfaces or worrying about crazy fees or waiting forever for transactions to go through. So Unichain is kind of like the user-friendly interface of this new financial system. Makes it easy for everyone to get involved, not just the hardcore crypto folks. Exactly. Think about how revolutionary it was when we moved from having to physically go to a bank to manage our money to being able to do it all online instantly. Mm -hmm. The super chain, powered by platforms like Unichain, has the potential to be just as transformative. A financial revolution. I like the sound of that. But like with any major shift, there are bound to be some bumps in the road. What are some of the hurdles that Unichain and the Superchain might face along the way? Scalability is a big one. We're talking about a truly massive network of platforms, potentially handling billions, maybe even trillions of transactions. Make sure this thing can handle that kind of volume without, you know, exploding is a monumental task. It's like building a car that can travel at the speed of sound. It's not just about making it technically possible, but you have to make sure it's safe and reliable for everyday use. That's a great way to put it. And then there's interoperability. We have to make sure that all these different blockchains can actually talk to each other, work together seamlessly. It's like creating a universal translator for the entire world of DeFi. And we can't forget about the human element. I mean, people are generally resistant to change, especially when it comes to something as important as their money, right? So how do we get people on board with this new vision? Education, 100%. We need to get past all the technical jargon and really clearly explain the benefits of DeFi in a way that everyone understands. And I think Unichain, with this focus on user experience, on accessibility, they're taking steps in the right direction. It sounds like they've thought of everything. But before we go any further, I want to rewind for a second and revisit those two specific risks that the Unichain Validation Network, the UVN, is designed to prevent. Because I think it's really important to understand these in the context of this larger superchain idea. Absolutely. Let's do it. So first, we've got block equivocation risk. That's the one where a sneaky sequencer tries to mess things up by proposing two conflicting blocks at the same time, remember? Right, like that chaotic orchestra situation. Exactly. Now, imagine that happening on the super chain, this vast interconnected network. It would be disastrous, like a virus spreading from one system to the next. So the UVN is kind of like the immune system preventing these viruses from taking hold. That's a great way to think about it. The UVN, with all its validators, ensures that everyone's on the same page, agreeing on the same chain of blocks, maintaining order and preventing these chaotic scenarios. Okay, that makes sense. Now remind me about invalid block risk and how the UVN protects the super chain from that one. Remember those Hawkeye detectives we talked about? Well, they're not just watching the sequencer. They're carefully checking every single transaction in a proposed block. And if even one transaction seems off, they flag the whole thing. It's like having a super secure customs checkpoint, making sure no contraband goods make it into the super chain. So it's all about maintaining the integrity of the entire system. Right. Making sure that only valid, trustworthy transactions are happening. Exactly. And when you have that kind of security, that foundation of trust, it makes the entire super chain stronger and more resilient. It all comes back to trust, doesn't it? 
People need to be able to believe in the system, even if they don't understand all the technical stuff behind it. You know, our research mentioned something called credible neutrality as a key part of the UVN's role. Mm -hmm. What exactly does that mean? Credible neutrality is all about making sure there's a level playing field within the super chain. Yeah. You know, the traditional financial system. It can feel really rigged, like the big players always have the advantage. DeFi is supposed to be different, more democratic, but you still need ways to ensure fairness. So it's like having a completely impartial referee who makes sure that everyone from the smallest individual investor to the largest institution has to play by the same set of rules. Exactly. And that's a core part of the UVN's vision. It's not just about securing the network. It's about building a system that is fundamentally fair and transparent and accessible to everyone. Okay, I have to admit, this is starting to sound pretty utopian. But let's bring it back down to earth for a moment. How do these big ideas, these big visions, actually benefit the average person, like you and me? That's the million dollar question, right? Yeah. And it goes way beyond just faster transactions or cheaper fees. Hmm. Look, for centuries, the financial system has been this exclusive club controlled by a select few, the big banks, governments, Wall Street. And DeFi is all about breaking down those walls and giving power back to the people. You got it. Unichain, with this emphasis on transparency and security and user friendliness, it really empowers individuals, it gives them more control over their own financial lives. Imagine a world where you don't have to rely on these big institutions, where you have complete transparency into how your money is being used and where it's much easier for anyone to participate. It's a powerful vision, but how realistic is it? Can a decentralized system really compete with these giants, these institutions that have been around for centuries? Honestly, it remains to be seen. Thank but one thing is for sure, Unichain and the entire DeFi movement represent a fundamental shift in how we think about finance. It's about challenging the status quo and exploring what's possible. It's a good reminder that technology isn't inherently good or bad. It's all about how we choose to use it. And that's a choice that we all have a say in. I completely agree. The future of finance is being written right now. And whether you're a total techie or just starting to learn about DeFi, it's a conversation worth being a part of. Well said. Now let's dive a little deeper into how Unichain is making DeFi more efficient for everyone. Okay, so we've talked about this new financial world, but how does Unichain actually make the gears turn, make DeFi work better? Efficiency is key especially for something called on-chain market making. Market making? Is that like those folks in those trading pits, you know, waving their hands, shouting numbers? Kind of. They're the ones making sure there's always someone to buy or sell an asset. They provide liquidity, keeps the markets moving. In DeFi, these market makers are often automated algorithms. Gotcha. So like these digital trading bots making sure there's always a buyer or a seller. You got it. And because Unitune is so fast, so cheap to use, it's like a dream come true for these automated market makers. They can operate with much tighter spreads, smaller differences between those buying and selling prices, which is good for everyone. Efficient markets, better prices. That makes sense. Who else benefits? Liquidity providers, the folks lending out their crypto to provide, well, that liquidity we were just talking about. Right, because someone's got to provide the fuel for those trading bots. Exactly. But, and this is important, in traditional DeFi, these providers face something called impermanent loss. Basically, they could lose money depending on how the market moves. Okay, that doesn't sound good. So I'm lending out my crypto and suddenly it's worth less because the market took a nosedive. It's a risk, but Unichain's speed could actually help minimize that. Faster transactions mean less exposure to those wild price swings. So less risk for the folks providing the liquidity that keeps the whole system running. Exactly. It's about making DeFi more sustainable, more attractive for everyone involved, and a more secure, profitable environment. That attracts more liquidity, which benefits the entire ecosystem. We've covered a lot, from the nitty-gritty to this big new financial future. But why should someone who isn't, you know, a crypto whiz care about Unichain, or even DeFi in general? The million-dollar question. It's bigger than just transactions or fees. For a long time, the financial system has been this exclusive club, right? Controlled by a select few, big banks, governments. And DeFi is about changing that. Exactly. Unichain, with this focus on transparency, security, user friendliness, it puts the power back in the hands of individuals. Imagine not having to re rely on those big institutions, having total control over your own money. 
That's the potential here. It's a powerful vision, but honestly, is it realistic? Can something like this actually compete with the giants of the financial world? That's the big question, isn't it? What we do know is that Unichain, this whole DeFi movement, it represents a massive shift in how we think about finance. It's about challenging what we thought we knew, exploring possibilities. And reminding us that technology is a tool. It's up to us to decide how we want to use it. I couldn't agree more. The future of finance is being written right now. Whether you're all in on DeFi or just starting to learn, it's a conversation we should all be a part of. Absolutely. This has been a deep dive into Unichain, the future of DeFi, and honestly, it's given me a lot to think about. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. It's been a great discussion. And to all our listeners, keep exploring, keep asking questions. Until next time.